like to welcome you to the first video on clarinet scales. I've been playing the clarinet since I was about 10 years old and I played all throughout middle school, high school, college, and I even minored in music from the University of Iowa. Plus, I have a fun little YouTube channel where I post clarinet covers of the latest pop songs, so feel free to check that out after this tutorial. Cassidy here at Making Music and myself are creating a series of videos where we will be teaching you how to play each major scale as well as their respective minor scales on the clarinet. So please be sure to come back next week to catch the new video with Cassidy. We are super excited to start this scale journey with you guys and watch you grow and learn all of these new scales and become awesome clarinetists. So without further ado, let's get started on learning the C major scale. Okay, so the first note that we're gonna start off with is, you guessed it, C. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your first, second, and third fingers right here on the first three keyholes, as well as your thumb on the back keyhole. And this is how you play C, so this is what it's gonna sound like. Now I think C major is hands down the best scale to learn when you're first starting to play the clarinet because basically all it is is you're lifting one finger at a time. So that being said, the next note is going to be D, so you're just going to lift your third finger and this is going to be D. So we're going to go back to C and then lift the finger and play D. And then E is the next note, and we're just going to lift that second finger, and this is E. Now we're going to lift the first finger, and then keep your thumb in the back keyhole, and this is going to be F. So now we're going to go back to the beginning and play C, remember it's all three, and then the back. And then we're going to lift this finger and play D. And then we're going to lift the second finger and play E. And then we're going to lift the first finger but keep the thumb in the back. And then this is going to be F. So here we go. And next comes G. So we're just going to lift the thumb from the back keyhole. And we're just not going to have any fingers down on any keys. And this is going to be your G. Next comes A, so we're going to place our pointer finger right here on this little key, and that's going to be your A. So that was A, and now we're going to learn B natural. So this one's a little tricky because we're jumping the bridge. So what you're going to do is you're going to place all fingers down, like so. Both your left and right hands are going to have your three fingers down and then your thumb is going to be in the back keyhole as well as pressing down against this register key. And by pressing the back register key, it's going to allow you to play higher notes. So be sure you're pressing all the way down on this key right here. So again, you're going to have all three fingers down from both hands as well as the back and register key. And then you can either pick to have your pinky here or here. It doesn't really matter because they're both going to be, be natural either way. What I personally like to do is have my pinky on this keyhole because it makes going to C easier for me, but it's however you want it. So I'm going to place my pinky here and then this is going to be B. So I'm going to go from B to C right here, this key. And this is going to be C, which is the last note in the first octave. So this is what it sounds like. And now we've completed the first octave. So we're going to go back down to G. Remember, no hands or anything. And then we're going to go to A. And then we're going to jump the bridge and play B, all fingers down. And then my pinky is going to go here. And then we're going to go to C and just switch pinkies. So lift this and place your pinky right here. So here we go. G, A, B, C. So we're going to put it all together now and go from our first note, which was C, and then go up the octave. So remember, we're just lifting the fingers as we go until we hit this note right here, which will be our octave C. 
So here we go. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now let's do it all together, no pauses. first octave, now let's move on to the second octave. Starting from our C that we just stopped at, we're going to lift our pinky and leave the rest down, including back thumb hole as well as the register key. And this is going to be our D again, so this is what it sounds like. So we're going to go from C to D. And then we're going to lift this finger, nothing else changes, and this is going to be E. And then we're just going to lift that finger, and then this is going to be our F. And then, you guessed it, we're going to lift that finger, and we're just going to have the first three as well as back and register, and this is going to be G. And then we're going to just lift that, and then this is going to be our A. And then we're going to lift again and have these two fingers down, and then this is going to be our B. And last but not least, we're going to lift this first finger and keep your thumb and register key down. And this is going to be our last note in the second octave, which is a high C. And now we've completed the second octave of the C major scale. So now we're going to go back to the beginning of the second octave, which is all three down. Pinky right here, and we're just going to lift one finger at a time until we hit high C. So here we go. C. D. E. F. G. A. B. And C. together starting from the very beginning from the first octave C and if you need to rewind this video then go ahead and do that to review some of the notes but basically we're just lifting our fingers one by one and then we're switching pinkies in the bridge here from B to C and then we're gonna go back to lifting one finger at a time so here we go <laughs> you guys you just learned the C major scale so now that you've learned how to play the C major scale be sure to come back next week and Cassidy is going to teach you how to play the C minor scale thank you all so much for tuning in and watching this tutorial and just remember to keep practicing